700,000 people right now a year worldwide are dying of antibiotic resistant infection. And, and if that trend continues, we're gonna have more antibiotic resistant deaths than deaths to cancer by 2050. We've moved from pre-antibiotic era through Alexander Fleming's pioneering work in penicillin in the 40s to possibly post-antibiotic era now. And the idea is that I have this protein that stops antibiotic resistance, it seems, but it's not yet a drug. And so we need to get it to a point where we can move from, hey, this is interesting scientifically, to this is actually gonna do something and people can actually use it. I do protein design, and protein design is, is right at that interface where, on the one hand, we're really trying to understand scientifically protein-protein interactions and, and to make new ones or to use the ones that we already have. But on the other hand, we're actually trying to use all of that knowledge to make something that's useful, that could change the course of human history for the better. And putting the hat of, of inventor on and making that more prominent to say, not only am I gonna figure this out scientifically, but I'm really gonna push this invention, push it to preclinical trials. Um, I, think, I think that would mean a lot. Innovation is how we stay ahead of bacteria.